Call the regular meeting of the Nevada City Council to order Monday, June 10th, 2024, 6 o'clock p.m. Can you get a roll call, please? Melissa Musha. Here. Henry Corbin. Here. Dane Nielsen. Here. Jason Sampson. Here. Steve Sky. Here. Sandy Eric. Here. And the first item is going to be approval of the agenda. There are two changes on that. So we're asking to remove 6K. We didn't receive figures back from our engineers until this afternoon, which was too late to stay on schedule. So we're asking that to be removed for a special meeting later in the week. Um, and then 6DB, um, the change order, um, they found more when they got work done, so the change order will need to be amended. So those two. Removing 6A and 6DB. So I guess, okay, Steve, and I heard Jason. Jason and then Steve to approve the agenda minus those items. Any discussion? Um, yeah, since we don't have those numbers, like I just I want to know why, like I want to know why those numbers. Because my understanding is you're promised that Friday. We expected that on Friday, which would have given us time to have something on the agenda tonight. But we got numbers back from each other in this afternoon, which is too late to the, analyze and get through the. Any time. explanation as to why? I did not. I don't know if Jordan or Karen do. Uh, we did not get an explanation to the council why they were not. Okay, I was just I was thinking about it over the weekend. Like we pay HR Green a lot because they have lots of staff and lots of resources to get these things done. And this is a pressing matter. And there's a lot of people in the community very upset about this. And we're sitting here waiting. So um, since we're not going to have an agenda item, I just want to express that frustration before we. Is fair. Anything else on agenda? Seeing none, council, please vote. That is approved. Takes us to the consent agenda. Any item may be removed for second consideration. Second. Dane, Sandy. Seeing no discussion, council, please vote. That is approved. Um, takes us into the public forum. Time set aside for comments from the public on topics of city business other than those listed on the agenda. No action may be taken. Is there anyone here to speak in the public forum? Seeing none, we will close public forum, which moves us to old business B, ordinance number 1056, 2023 2024, an ordinance amending chapter 62, general traffic regulations of the city code by establishing school zones in certain areas of town, secondary. Move to approve. Second. Henry Dane. Seeing no discussion, council, please go ahead. That is approved. Takes us to C. Approved pay request number 25 for wastewater treatment facility improvements phase three from Boomerang Corporation in the amount of $131,579.75. I'll move to approve. Second. Steve, Melissa. Seeing no discussion there, council, please vote. That is approved. It exists to D, 2024 Street Improvement Project from Construct Incorporated. A, approved pay request number two in the amount of $133,424.41. Or 113, sorry, 113. We need the first today. Move to approve. Second. Henry. Any discussion on that? Seeing none, pass always go. Approved takes us to E. Approved pay request number one for the HMA overlay project at FMG Avenue from inroads in the amount of $44,270.24. Move to approve. Second. Sandy and then. Seeing the discussion, Council, please start. That 
has approved takes us to do business A, resolution number 89, 2023-2024, resolution accepting major subdivision preliminary plat for Northeast subdivision. Hello, Dr. Brown. Second. And Steve, any discussion on that? Do we know anything about like the typicality of the in there? Like? Um, if you guys want to speak, you can more than happy to. I'm BJ Swift for the AT Adders with a developer with the project. So the type of housing. So if you remember kind of way back, I think I think I don't know if you were on council, kind of when we went to the first go around, which is just to the northeast of here. So it's essentially the same project as what those 33 lots were kind of the northeast, uh due to sanitary sewer. We're gonna move the project to the west. So it's gonna be 33 lots, uh detached single family. We're targeting workforce housing. So price point, or I guess housing types that be that single family, probably anywhere from 12, 1300 square foot per ranch. Two shore is a little bit bigger. Uh, the price point is, you know, below 300,000, mid 300,000 is kind of the, the target price point. There's, we might be able to get a few under 300,000. Uh, so what we do is we, we develop the lots um, and work with builders. Uh, we don't build ourselves, but we'll work with uh, local builders because we've talked to quite a few. We've talked to the local residents as well that are interested in buying lots out here at homes. Um, and then also um, kind of metro area builders that are kind of the larger tracks on builders that really come out and, and drive that price point. So. We're doing a similar type subdivision in Pella right now. Um, uh, so we, we developed 94 single family lots three years ago and we're sold out now. <laughs> and that's at that low 300,000 in the price point. That's that's what's really hit home right now. Can you tell me, BJ, what would, uh, uh, how many square feet could you get for 250? It's a good, it's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any Yes. Yeah. So, so, so I don't we think hold your feet to the fire, but I mentioned the price of the houses to people, they kind of freak out and try to let them pay. That's what single family started homes are. Yeah. We, we, yeah. No, it's, it's a great point. You know, if we could, if we could hit 150,000 gaps, we would. You know? Yes. So, when you look at new construction, I think, I think one thing to keep in mind, too, is, you know, um, the, the builders that are coming in, and the nice thing that we have is we have 33, you know, 33 lots, 33 options, 33 different builders. And so what we've created is an open market, right, where essentially the builders want to sell homes. And so they're, they're going to compete. And, and while, you know, builders, everyone has to make money kind of throughout the process. But, you know, there's really, there is a floor to kind of what you can hit. So, you know, at these, these homes, so let's say that we're low 300s to mid 300s. What it's going to do is it's going to open up other housing stocks. So this this could be a move up home, it could be an entry level home for someone. But if it's that move up home, it's opening up maybe a home that was built you know 20, 30 years ago that that hits that price point. Um, they did new construction 250. I mean you're uh, you're really probably like an attached type of units like a townhome style or you know here slab on grade maybe no no garage or a detached garage. So it's the stuff they did with the uh, you know 13, 400 square foot ranch. It's a sure. yeah. other discussion? Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Council, please go. Yeah. It's approved. It's to be. Amendment number one to professional services agreement with WHKS for design, engineering, construction based services, and deal technical services for FNG Avenue <clears throat> HMA overlay project not to exceed $24,650. Uh, second. Steve, all that sounds good. Any no discussion, Council? Please go. Is approved, which takes us into report starting the city administration. All right, so a few weeks ago, I talked with you guys about the storage containers in my report. I was wondering if that was something that we are interested in. A lot of communities are seeing those Connex or storage containers enter into their, their um, community. So I didn't know if that was if there was more interest about that. Uh, I, I do. We'd have to talk with Aaron to see if there is anything we can do about the existing structures, but this would prevent any future structures from being being moved in. Yeah. I 
totally think we should look into that. So, you, know, you can buy one of these containers for a couple thousand bucks. I, I think I think we would prefer people to a proper shed and have a nice bit of acres rather than having something that looks like a truck trailer in the backyard. Yeah. Okay. A uh, reminder, we have our council work session on July 8th. We did receive it. more information on Capstone Housing. They did file a permit earlier today, actually, for demo inside of the old hospital. So they will be working on that. Um, one of the things that Mayor will discuss is the dates for readings for wastewater. We will have something on the agenda several years ago when the city uh, basically gave that land away to Story County. There are several easements that were in place. They just want to confirm that, that those easements are lifted. So we'll have that on one of the agendas as well. Um, wanted to give you a little bit more information on the new business 7B. We found out that there is no concrete underneath the asphalt. And so that's why there's additional work work before that. And they're going to be doing soil testing and soil boring for there so we can figure out how durable the soil is underneath because it's, it is also soil that came from, well, no one really knows what kind of soil is underneath or what kind of subgrade it is. So we're trying to figure that out. Uh, and then, uh, let's see. Also, my review will, all, will be on the next council agenda as well. Right. Okay, you mentioned wastewater and after the work session, we did have some really productive conversations with work looking through some of the components there. Um, obviously would have liked more tonight, but that didn't happen. So. With that, we're looking to do three readings. Um, so the first of which potentially Thursday, if we're able to get from our bond attorney what we need um, in time to run those through our drafts and thing those over. Um, hoping Thursday, if not, then that would happen Friday because we need to get two readings done at the beginning of next week. We will in touch on when to schedule all those. Um, I think we're going to look ideally Thursday. Does anyone have any particular hard times? If we do it obviously in the morning, then that limits the time we have to prepare. But in the morning is going to work well for people too. So, what time would it be six o'clock? What's that? Would it be six o'clock on Thursday? Um, I'm fine if we do later. I don't know if anyone else is thinking ahead enough. Seeing a number of six and Thursday night was later. Thing. So if we want to target Thursday morning and if it needs to get kicked, we'll kick it. Seeing so three headed over here. Yeah, I Thursday morning. Thursday morning is kind of a problem. Okay. And let's say we did it like seven. Yeah, just like you can do seven. Me too. Okay, so we'll we'll pencil that in. Okay. And anything for me on that? We want to make sure all the rates and everything are publicized. Yes. Yeah. So I don't know many people asking me what's the rates I got to say. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Which is why we're not doing it tonight. Those rates help being public. Um, the ideally, when we would publish the agenda, it would be a path in the final. 24 hours in advance. So, Tuesday afternoon, yeah. <laughs> Wednesday morning, the latest. Okay. 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 Council reports. <laughs> Seeing nothing to a staff, right? Good evening. Uh, just a couple of things. We will be doing fireworks July 4th. Uh, we will shoot them off at the same location we did last year by the Park and Rec building. Seems to work pretty good. 
Uh, so, so we'll work on that. And then uh, as you can see in the parking lot, the new vehicle is in and the UHP unit is in it. Uh, we got it signed today for decals and we're trying to advance the fleet. So uh, there'll be a lot of movement of our vehicles. Uh, the F-450, there's already some interest from another community to purchase that from us. Uh, my vehicle that I'm currently driving will slide in as a medical unit for a bit. And then uh, we're just trying to get the fleet right, a little bit more economical. Uh, the pickup seemed to be a little bit more economical than the larger F450 diesels and stuff like that. So that's what we're working. Thank you. Marlis? <laughs> Uh, just update on hiring. We're in the thick of the hiring process still. Uh, have more applicants than we've had in the past couple of years, so it's kind of exciting to see how that pans out. And as a reminder, we're doing the public safety rodeo this weekend. It's from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday in the city hall parking lot. We'll have um, sidewalk shock for kids, we'll have a, a bike rodeo, obstacle course thing. Uh, we have free helmets for kids needing them. We'll make sure they're sized and fitted properly. And then uh, free gold donation, pot dogs, chips, and water, and such. So you could encourage people to put out. That's all I have. All right. Good. Thank you. I'm doing as well. Seven years work. Good. Else, anything else? Go to adjourn. Second. Any Melissa, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed, please say nay. Okay, then we are adjourned. See you all later this week. <laughs>